Hey, what's up guys? t over here, how y'all doing tonight? Even though it's the morning, what am I talking about? Yeah, so today's video is going to be talking about um, the name changes in Doris Alliance. Um, what the fuck are you doing, Konami? That seems a little bit forward, but you know what? I don't care, I'm going to keep that in, because it pisses me off, okay? The last time I did a video like this was back in Judgment of the Light, okay? Trap Tricks got changed. No, the name Trap Tricks was changed from... Uh, mesmerizing man eaters okay now the reason why I complained about that if you don't want to re go back and watch the video I'll probably put a link in the description um, the problem with that was mesmerizing man eaters are supposed to be a bunch of cards which are posed as girls or women which obviously is a little bit borderline in Japan these cards are supposed to trick soldiers or men into coming towards them as in like um, amorously as in oh look it's a girl oh, it's a woman well let's go to it because it's it's interesting you know it's, I'm not gonna go into sexual reasons you know so basically when you come up to them they they actually turn into insects or they have a body of an insect and then they trick you okay so what they did um kevin he went and changed the name to trap tricks so that it's literally just trap tricks like it's a cool little bunch of girls who just kind of like tricky things they can search stuff it's all based around the fact they search but what you have done is you've taken the law of the um the cards themselves and then you went and just changed them into something completely different so now they have no relation to the actual mythology of the cards that the OCG have tried to push you know and obviously lore is such an important thing you know so one thing that annoys me about Jura's advent with these name changes which have just been announced is that um, Shadows and Quillfort or Cleefort or whatever um, they have Judaism connotation in them if you look at them and you look at the the cards and what they do you'll see this relationship to Judaism in some sense okay I'm not very knowledgeable on Judaism um, because I don't get to speak to many Jews I don't get immersed in the culture too much because it's just something that isn't very popular in the UK is there's not many of them so you don't really get to see it but I'm sure that if you're American you probably understand it a bit better than I do. Shadol's got name changes and obviously Shadol's the word Shadol comes from Judaism I don't know too much about it but I do know that it comes from there so inherently the archetype's name is Jewish it's a Jewish archetype, okay? So it's got religious connotation, therefore Konami's gonna be a bit iffy with it, okay? And that's fine. But if you're iffy with it, then completely change the name, because you've done it in the past, you know? You've taken an iffy name like Mesmerizing Man Eaters, and then you went and changed it into Chat Tricks, okay? So it is possible to do it, but at the same time, like, you didn't do it this time, yet you happily went and changed Nephilim right a picture of the card here you went and changed Nephilim into construct okay what the fuck is a construct okay what is how is the artwork insinuating the word construct okay Nephilim sounds fucking awesome okay it just sounds amazing it's like summoning Nephilim summon Nephilim 2800 eight star fusion monster it's your boss okay you summon the Nephilim okay he sound it sounds celestial okay it sounds angelic it sounds like it's something from above it's a fairy type believe it or not and it's a light so it fits in with nephilim okay it sounds otherworldly but construct sounds mechanical it sounds like it was built by things obviously it's got strings on it i believe on the artwork what you have done is taken away the the mystic and wonder of the card itself and now it's just construct okay nephilim has no religious connotation whatsoever it just has an an implication of celestial being okay and it's a fairy light so it makes sense for it to be called nephilim okay because if you look at the fucking card it looks like a fucking nephilim blah, blah, blah. okay next one is even worse okay midrash which is by far the best fusion in the entire deck okay because it single-handedly shuts down decks okay as i said in a few comments on facebook um, it's just like Cleefoff Killer, a quick, a, a popular Cleefoff Killer. It's actually stops entire archetypes from existing and being playable because they have no mained out to a card like Midrash because it's 2200 that can't be stopped, okay? In many ways, it's very difficult because it can't be destroyed by card effects, so it's very difficult to stop. So what they have done is they've taken away Midrash, which actually is a Judaism word, or a Jewish word, or whatever in the religion, and they changed it to Winda. Now, if you look on the artwork, the actual card itself has Gusto Winda on it, okay? You can see it's riding a Yang Zing. So Kevin decided to go and change it to Winda instead of Midrash because of the Judaism connotation in it. So Winda is awful, like it's called Winda but the card is now dark. So you change the name of it because it reflects the fact that it's no longer Augusto Winda, it's actually a dark 
monster. It's a dark attribute. It's a dark monster spellcaster, okay? Why the fuck would you go and change it? Winder is terrible. El Shadol Winder. Shadol is still in the name. It's still obvious that it's something to do about Judaism. You've now changed it, so now it's got Winder instead of... Midrash. And Midrash just sounds better because if anyone actually is Jewish, they'll actually get the, the assumption with it. So, for people who don't understand it, like me, Midrash just sounds better. It sounds a little bit more evil than Winda. Doesn't it? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and the last thing, um, which is the trap card, which is obviously the card that you play in freeze because it single-handedly wins games on its own. Um, Sinister Shadow Games. Uh, which was uh, originally facing the shadows. This one isn't as bad, but I feel like Shinus of Shadow Games is alliterative, okay? And it's something like Trap Tricks, right? Where it's two T's, obviously it's one word, but it's Trap Tricks, so it sounds more immature. It sounds like you're playing on the words so that you're, you're, the kids can understand it better. So, oh, Trap Tricks, oh, it's like, like a skateboarding crew or something, the Trap Tricks, you know, it sounds stupid. Okay, but it, we went with it because eventually, it took us a year, but we eventually got over it because Mamelia is so fucking broken, okay, and it single-handedly defined the format. Okay, but Sinister Shadow Games is alliterative, okay, it takes away the fact that they're dark, the fact that they're supposed to be evil, and you've turned the name into something stupid, okay, so now kids can get it, oh, Sinister Shadow Games, and obviously Shadow Games being something from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, anime. But Facing the Shadows was better because the artwork implies that the good and bad sides of the same monster are fighting against each other, okay? And that was it. So that, that's what annoys me about it, is that they've completely taken away the lore of the actual archetype and turned it into something worse. Comment down below your opinions, okay? You've probably seen the pictures already. There's a few other reveals on the Auto Rarity Games Facebook page, so go and check that out. So. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Comment down your opinions of these name changes. I fucking hate them, but you guys might not like them, might not mind them as much. So thanks for watching guys, and until next time, the Tishti lover is out.